you've done uh, so many films on, on US soil of late. I was wondering, was it quite nice to be back home shooting a movie? And not only that, but a film that is almost celebrating the kind of natural beauty of Australia. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was, you know, one of the biggest draws of the project was just being able to be at home and exploring a part of Australia that I don't really know that well. Um, so, yeah, it was great. And I mean, the character wants to spend some, some time alone away mm. from friends and away from the mm. press and stuff. As, as someone, you know, as one of the kind of the biggest movie stars out there at the moment, was that something that you could resonate with, that kind of idea of just wanting to, to get away from it all for a while? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I could completely kind of understand the desire to take yourself out of, um, you know, the more regular, like, society and put yourself in a place where you just sort of simplified your existence and took things back to the basis, the basics of just being and surviving and, and being kind of present in your, in your every day. Because, <laughs> I mean, there are many scenes where... Uh, loneliness and isolation does mm. play a part when yeah. sort of Robin's sort of out there on her own. Mm. Uh, was it quite difficult to get into that mindset when you've got a massive crew of people kind of always around you? Yeah, I mean, not necessarily. Like, yes, in like a physical sense, but um, uh, film sets are kind of like lonely places anyway. Everybody's sort of uh, working and, and it's there's a lot of like working around each other, but it's not necessarily like a connected experience all the time. So, uh, yeah. It was, you know, an easy thing to understand. And did you spend much time with the real Robin and, and what she liked? Yeah, I met her before we started filming. I spent a couple of days with her, um, you know, doing some camel training. And she's wonderful. I was very, like, nervous of meeting her. I wasn't sure what her perspective was going to be on, on, you know, making a movie of her life. But she was really wonderful and, and uh, it was, like, a relief <laughs> to me. And, uh, of course, you form a real relationship uh, with the, the the dog in the mm. movie, and I was wondering, this is going to sound like a really silly question, but have you kept in touch? No, I haven't actually. There were two mm. dogs that played um, that played Diggity, but no, I haven't, and I haven't seen the camels either, which is a shame. Because <laughs> that's always interesting. Because I always see you see these kind of genuine bonds on screen. Yeah. And I always wonder if people kind of go and see the animals a yeah. few months down the line. No, I would hope to, but no. And talking of the camels, you you seem to be fearless in when you're sort of with Thanks. them in the movie. Was that something that took a lot of training or were you always quite open to, to stroking them? And, and um, I mean, it took like a very short amount of time to kind of like understand their temperament. And when you do understand their temperament, you can like gauge when they're pissed off and when they're fine. And so it wasn't like ever, I never really felt like fearful after the first few days of being around them. They're like very docile. They come, up, they come across much more sort of intimidating than they actually are, I think. And of course, animals are so unpredictable yeah. to, to shoot with. Were there any incidents on set or anything that the camels or, or the, the dogs did? Oh, that yeah. Wasn't there was something really funny where, like, the the dog started really annoying, like, the baby camel, and then the baby camel just, like, completely, like, booted it and chased it down. Like, we were doing a very long walking shot, and it was really funny to see them both just, like, charge off into the distance. It's a shame they didn't shoot that, actually. I know, well, they did. Oh. We just didn't make it in. Oh, that director's <laughs> really cut. Um, I know. Uh, so my final question, very, very quickly, was, I mean, it looks like really hot conditions. It mm -hmm. must have been quite an arduous shoot. Was it quite difficult at times to, to act in that heat? Yeah, I mean, even more than the heat, it was just like you forget how much, like, the glariness of being in the sun and that kind of, like, vast open space just kind of, like, saps your energy really quickly. And the windiness of being in the desert. But, yeah, it was quite, like... Um, you know, you feel quite weather-beaten very, very quickly. <laughs> well, thank you so much cool. again. Thank you.